Mum, at what point should I tell you that in my past life I used to be a stripper? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? Mum thinks they look awful. Look at this platform. Mum's like, where do you went? I wore them to church, Mum, on Sundays. What do you think? <laughs> Good morning and welcome back to my channel. So today we're on quite the adventure. I've got my mum with me, but she's not gonna go on camera. So I'm being respectful. We are right now at a petrol station, but we're on our way to my storage unit to do a big clear out. I'm taking you guys with me. Here at my fabulous storage unit, we're gonna go in, we're gonna go through all the clothes, give some to charity, keep some. So we've got our work cut out for us today. Brace yourselves. So this is the storage unit. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rails of clothing. Yeah. Then I've got this wall, which has been organized somewhat. <laughs> Nude shoes and orange, pinks and purple shoes, bags, black belts and gloves, There's nude wedges, gray and brown shoes, burgundy shoes, white shoes, more bags up here, some more shoes here, and the Lan Van hat here, more bags, and black shoes, black shoes, and black boots. I don't think it's as bad as I thought because everything is quite well organized, but we just have to take everything out now, load it into the car. We're gonna have to do probably a couple of trips. I'm so glad that I'm finally doing this. I put it off for so long because it's quite the job, but I know that I'm gonna be so happy when it's done because I'll have all the things that I haven't seen in a while that I can definitely reuse and rewear, and I'm gonna get rid of any stuff that I don't need anymore. So it's win-win. <laughs> Mum, at what point should I tell you that in my past life I used to be a stripper? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? These are like um, Cardi B's bloody shoes. These are my Louboutins, but honestly, look at this platform. <laughs> Mum's like, where do you went? I wore them to church, Mum, on Sundays. What do you think? How did I walk in them? I didn't walk in them, I danced in them. Decided. We thought that we'd have a lot of stuff today to kind of organize, but we actually have everything already organized. So we've brought the man in the van who are coming to help today instead of tomorrow. So we're gonna get it all done, hopefully, the majority of it anyway, done today. Um, yeah, we're cracking on with it, and so far, so good. <laughs> putting this off as well because I was feeling like oh I don't want to go through all these sentimental things and give them away and I'm attached to them but yeah I haven't seen them in so long and it's so nice to find some hidden gems that I'll have so much fun wearing again and I'm coming across all these amazing things I am going to show you in the next video some of the pieces that I love and that I'm excited to bring back into my wardrobe as we go into spring so yeah I'm gonna have a wardrobe refresh as well your voice is going down there Ooh. 
Oh my god, I love this bag. I haven't seen it so long. So this bag I used to wear in my third year at university and it was my very first Prada bag. It's so soft and it's lost its shape a little bit. You can see it's quite well used, but yeah, I really love it. Brings out good memories. We've got another box here. Haven't seen this bag in a while. This is my Celine Trapeze bag and it's snakeskin, blue, my favorite color. I'm coming across so many beautiful bags that I totally forgot about and that I'm gonna have a lot of fun wearing. So we've managed to clear out so far this entire section. We've still got a lot to do. The van has arrived. So we've got Dan driving the van and we've got Peter. And we are, yes, gonna unload everything. We're gonna load everything onto the van. <laughs> it's cold, it's rainy, it's gray, but I've got a whole new wardrobe, so I'm doing fine. <laughs> up <laughs> stretching off he's really getting ready for it <laughs> the lift works of course but you know good exercise you know <laughs> My clothes going into the van. Well, that's a nice jacket. This is my Giorgio Armani jacket. I think this was one of the, my one of my first designer pieces I ever got myself. I mean, it looks like a wedding jacket, but I wore it in the south of France <laughs> to a white party. So these are all jackets, and they're all color coded. So I start off with the whites, the beiges, pinks, greens, blues, blacks, right to the end. We've got Mary Catherine Zoo. Got some Alexander McQueen. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna get out of the way. Sorry. I spot my Givenchy jumper. I loved this jumper. Put this one back. So I think we could probably get one more rail in. Yeah, one more. One more, yeah. What I'm most worried about is. I have absolutely no idea where all this stuff is going to go in my apartment. I have a full apartment. <laughs> Heading home. Yes. Strong men. We're getting there. <laughs> Juicy now. Oh my god, I have to video this. This is crazy. Not crazy. That's normal. Just, normal? Yeah, just different habits. <laughs> yeah, from five sugars. Five sugars. <laughs> Mum just said, I could do with a couple bars of chocolate right now. <laughs> For energy. For energy. For 
doing good. Oh, are you okay? We are on part two of the moving process. <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing in the background. The unending of the... Yeah, the never-ending moving process. The apartment is slowly but surely filling up. <laughs> and again. Again, as my mum says, it was so clean, so tidy, everything was really organised, and whilst I do have everything in boxes, with names and everything, you know, my living space is shrinking. <laughs> Going round in circles, yeah, it's not cheating very much, Emma. Just giving orders. <laughs> I don't order, I delegate. There's a difference, a subtle difference. We've got clothes here, clothes here, boxes here, four boxes here, clothes here. This is hats, sunglasses. We've got a whole new rail of things. <laughs> what? Literally, my mum is just doing that because she. I, I say to her every time you make a noise, mum, I just. <laughs> ah, it's all fun and games when you've got your mum around. <laughs> She's there with a shoehorn clapping in the background. <laughs> um, there are nine more rails to come. I've actually got to go back to the storage unit because we couldn't fit everything in one lorry. I know, I know it's crazy. I don't know how I accumulated all this stuff. I don't know. I just kind of turned up on my doorstep one day. Oh. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. It's just my mind. My mind isn't okay. <laughs> unit because I've got a few more rails to come back to my place and then the storage unit will be clear and then the real work begins when I get back to the apartment I have to organize everything <laughs> it's okay it's okay I'm alive still <laughs> You're running up the stairs oh, your five sugars <laughs> tops here. These are summer clothes. Summer clothes and shorts. I have like nude coloured dresses. And then all of this is to be organised. In theory, this was a great idea because having a storage unit and only having your seasonal clothes with you in your apartment, it meant that my home wasn't cluttered and I only really had the stuff that I needed each season. But in practice, not such a great idea. I was paying a lot of money for the storage unit and I just wasn't coming here. I wasn't using the clothes I have in storage because they weren't at my fingertips. Now, I'm gonna have all my clothes in one place and I'm so excited. Very excited to see all my clothes back. I can look at them, I can touch them, I can feel them. Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means, guys? It means I can wear my clothes. I cut my clothes back. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me point out my favorites while they're packing up the baton. This is the Balmain dress I wore for New Year's Eve. It was like my very first Balmain dress, okay? So it's kind of a big deal. <laughs> so at one point, I moved to Miami because of love. And I thought, you know what? I need to change up my style. I'm in Miami now. That means colors, it means prints. Peter Pilotto dress here. Mm, is this Peter? Yeah, this is also Peter Pilotto. I was wearing like crazy funny patterns and colors. I'm a hoarder, okay? I like to hold on to clothes. I can't get them away. God, each one has a story. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, my Hervey Leisure dress. I wore this to my birthday 
in 2010, 2011. And it was like my favorite dress ever. Look at the crystals. So beautiful. Okay, it, admittedly, it was when bandage dresses were a thing, okay? If you didn't wear a bandage dress, then you're lying because every girl had one. We have to pack up the van and be out of here at six. But just wanted to show you, this was the Matthew Williamson dress that I used to love and wore, like, you know, I would wear this like on a casual night out in London. It would be like a Wednesday and I'd put this on and then it would be a different kind of Wednesday. <laughs> Come on, dark. cute earrings there, right? These are Ryan Lowe. And this one is from Zara. The denim is from Topshop. The top is Frame. The jeans are Topshop. Trainers are Vans. And the coat is Zara. <laughs> dark in here. As you can see it's completely empty. All my stuff has gone. We so we are completely done. Mission accomplished. And all I can think is I wish I'd done this so much sooner. Oh, I thought it was too big a task but we did it. We did it in one day. We did it in one afternoon. We didn't start till like three o'clock. Amazing. When you set your mind to it you can achieve. Goodbye. 5105. I'm out of here. I have a new subscriber here. Everything is against me today. Yay! And if you want to get notified for my videos, you just press that one. I'm always interested in what videos people actually pick out first. <laughs> Very professional. Yeah. <laughs> Couple more bags to go. New York. So um, I'm just popping out because I need to quickly drop something off at a friend's place and I wanted to show you what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing this gorgeous teddy bear coat from Topshop, really warm and cozy. Then underneath I'm wearing the denim shirt I was wearing today. Underneath this I'm wearing my white top from Givenchy. I picked this off the rail from some of the stuff I brought back from storage and I just remembered how much I loved it. It's skin tight, Givenchy white tank top but it's kind of translucent and there's some detailing here which I really like. I'm wearing my favourite jeans at the moment, the Joni denim jeans and my favourite boots of the moment from Public Desire, Kim Kardashian inspired, <laughs> blush pink boots and then I'm wearing my Chanel bag, my Chanel tweed and teal bag. Thought it would be a good idea just to show you what the outfit looks like without the coat because this is a denim jacket, it's really light, it's really easy. I think the studded detailing here is really cool. Gives it kind of like an American vintage vibe. And then this is the top underneath I'm going to show you. So yeah, the, this white top is actually quite long, but as you can see this like doesn't look flattering at all. So just kind of like ruch it up there and kind of play with it, have it down on one side. These are the jeans. I really love these Joni jeans because they're high rise, they're so flattering, they're also quite elasticated. I like that. <laughs> so you know, it's like, it feels so much more comfortable. It kind of feels like you're wearing leggings. And then obviously the Public Desire boots that I've already shown you. So, mission accomplished today. So, just for your reference, not all the clothes that you saw today and bags and shoes 
are mine. Some of them are belonging to my best friend. She had some of her stuff that she needed to store. And as I had this big storage unit, I was like, it's fine, just put your stuff in there. Really, really happy that we achieved so much. And there's a really good quote, which I actually just put on my Insta stories today. And it's that the things that you own end up owning you. And honestly, that's how I was feeling. I was feeling so overwhelmed with all of these things, all these possessions that I had no need for. And they were just taking up space and weighing on me. So I'm really excited to just clear it out, have a fresh start <laughs> to fly. <laughs> and by the way, that quote of the things you own end up owning you is from Fight Club and it was said by Brad Pitt in the movie. And I just really think it's true. I really relate to that, especially today. So yeah, um, what am I gonna do with the clothes? Well, very good question, thanks for asking. I just asked that myself. No one actually asked me. What I'm gonna do with the clothes is I'm gonna divide them up. Like some things I'm gonna keep, some of my treasured items, and some of them are gonna go to charity, and like give away, and, and then some of the stuff I am going to sell on Depop. That's the plan of action, um, but I definitely have my work cut out for me because there is a lot of stuff and sorting, but I'm treating it like a job, like a small bit at a time. And I just remember thinking like, if I just like thought back to yesterday and I was feeling really nervous about this because I was like, I've got so many other things I need to do. Such a big task, what am I gonna do? I haven't got the space for this stuff to come into my apartment. And fast forward to today, we managed to do it in one afternoon, all of it in my apartment. We found space for everything. And it's like, wasn't such a big deal. So part of me regrets not doing this a lot sooner and a lot earlier and saving myself a lot of money on storage. Obviously when you get rid of the old stuff, make, make space for the new stuff. I'm just gonna tackle it now with the same mindset that it might seem like a big hurdle. It might seem like a lot of work, but at the end of the day, once I start going and set my mind to it, yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I showed you properly, but this is my Charlotte Tilbury dressing gown, which I love. It has my name on the back, my initials. And actually it's a Victoria's Secrets dressing gown that they've kind of embroidered. Um, I'm gonna put the link below in the description because it's really beautiful. I love the way the sleeves are kind of like, not all the way down, because sometimes like when, I don't know, I mean, when I have long sleeves, it kind of gets in the way. Tomorrow I'm going to do, show you some of my favorite things I picked out that I absolutely love. Um, and oh my God, it gave me so much joy to be reunited with my clothes, with my bags and shoes. And I just like to see those things again. We brought back so many memories. But no, this experience, the moving experience has been eventful. Definitely kept me occupied. And the challenge, but I've really embraced it. And I think, you know, change is good. Change is always good. So. With that in mind, I'm gonna to go to sleep now. So I wanna make an effort of going to bed earlier in 2018 <laughs> and get a good balance between work and life. I don't really call this work though because I really enjoy making videos and I, I actually love making videos. And it's just such a great thing to be able to share them with you. So before I ramble on too much, I'm gonna to say goodnight and I'll see you in the morning.